Hey guys, it's Jimmy here and welcome to Gran Turismo 2. Um, now, I've been thinking about doing a new series recently. I've, I've actually played with a couple of ideas. None of them have really come to fruition just yet. I have a rule with myself. Uh, basically, I'll, I'll record five episodes or something before I release it because I know I'm really bad with series, like awfully bad with series. So I said, that's the new rule, you know, five episodes and I can start releasing it out to the public. So this is my latest adventure, Gran Turismo 2, a game that I played, I don't even know how long I played this for as a child, many, many hundreds of hours just tuning every individual car, having fun with all the uh, different races, etc. And the purpose of this uh, playthrough would be to try and win all the races, I guess. That would be the end of it. Um, I know there are some endurance races in this as well, which will make it sort of more interesting. So there'll be special episodes, hopefully, where I do longer races. But for now, we're going to go find our first car. And anyone who knows me and knows my stream at all will know exactly where we're going. We're going to East City. We're going to the Mazda dealership. And we're going to the used Mazda. Has anyone guess what it is yet? You can pretty much see it on the screen right now, because I can guess what it is. Just got to see if it's in the right colour. Oh. Oh, it is. There it is. The Mazda MX-5 Miata S Special. Isn't the Unos version? This one is, uh, well, this is the 1.6 version. It's actually very similar to mine. A year older, though. And we go and buy that. We go and buy that right now. MX-5, boys. We're back. We're back. So, we uh, spent eight and a half grand on that, leaving us uh, one, and a, one and a half grand or so left. Uh, I'm going to see if I can do some very quick tuning. Now, the thing that I always tend to do first in this game was go to the drivetrain and uh, just do the flywheel, because that always increases uh, acceleration a little bit. And for, for, for 900, uh, it's not too bad. And basically, it just means the car revs a bit quicker, uh, which is nice. Uh, it doesn't make it that much faster in a straight line, but it just makes it a little bit easier to get on board with. So that's our first and only modification we're going to be making. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a couple of races, I think, and then maybe moving on to doing our B license. Now, with the B license and all the licenses, um, my initial goal is to going to be try and to gold all of them, and that's very difficult. So I might not end up doing that, but that's my initial sort of high hopes goal. Fingers crossed, anyway. But let, let, let's go race. Actually, no, before we go race, sorry, let's get out of this. Let's go and see what this gal's got, shall we? Let's go to our little uh, machine test. And we're going to do a 0 to 400 meter than a max speed test. I'll do a bit of cutting so you haven't got to wait for all the loading. There it is. Look how gorgeous it is. Come forward to 400 meters and away we go. The speed is fantastic. That roof obviously holding us back. It needs more holes in it to be like my MX-5 roof. Yeah, 60 mile an hour in second gear, hitting third gear. What we're going to be 0 to 400 meters. We aren't going to need fourth gear. We're just going to get to the end of third. And it is a 16.7. Not too fast, <laughs> but always that room for improvement there, and the sexy BBS style rims there. Whereas right, that's our rather sluggish 0 to 100 down. Let's do a max speed test. Now I'm pretty sure in real life these cars are only really good for about 110, 120 miles an hour. So anything around there is what I expect pretty much. Revving it up, listen to the engine roar, and away we go. There you go, second gear. This is uh pretty easy. I've got my um. My buttons map, so I have an analog stick for turning, because I like to turn analog sticks. But I don't like the analog steering, um, the analog acceleration and brake input. So I've just put that on a digital on the on the buttons on X and Square. So coming up now to the banking. This is what we've got to try and get round here nice and smoothly. Already up to 105 miles an hour. Do what it's got, shall we? Nice and easy around the banking. You have to turn it quite a bit to get anything out of the analog stick. We'll go down low. Oh, too low. Car's very unstable at high speed. That's going to obviously affect our results a little bit, but it doesn't matter. We'll keep it rolling. We'll do this one take. One take is good. Oh, is that Dragoon in the background? I better turn off the music in there. <laughs> That's fun point. I'm going to get in trouble. Up into fifth gear. Going to talk over music as much as possible, so hopefully I don't get content id for something that I didn't even know was in this game. 121 miles and 122, 123, one common. Can we get 130 miles an hour before the end of the test? Come on. Come on, girl. Speed, 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 speed. 130, give it to me, give it to me. 130 miles an hour. 131, 135. Come on, give us 135. Give us 135. Give us 135. Give us 135. And 135. 136. And now it's pretty much us done. We can go to the line now. We'll see if we can actually carry any more speed off this banking than we did. We're right at the top of fifth gear. 136, still accelerating. Can we get to 140 miles an hour on the MX-5? I can tell you from realistic experience that being on board of this at this sort of speed uh, would be terrifying. 
this thing does not like going fast. So 136, let's see 137. Go on. 137. Can we get 138? Do I, am I going to see 140 miles an hour in MX5? Come on. Just barely keeping it in a straight line now. Go on, 140. 140. Yeah, there it is. 140 miles an hour out of our little MX5 on our first map. 141. Fantastic. 141 out of our little MX5 on our first max speed test. That isn't bad at all. Well, I think it's time for some races after getting to grips with how the car handles. Not very well is the answer. And seeing that we can do 141 miles an hour, which is pretty damn impressive. Anyway, let's go to the races. Now, we can't do any of the, uh, the fun races yet because we haven't got a license. So we're going to go over to special events and then to the Sunday Cup. This is the only one we can actually enter so far with no license. So we've got three races here. Uh, we get unlock a car at the end of them, so let's jump straight into Tahiti Road, one of these tracks that I never actually enjoyed when I first played the game, but uh, let's see how I do. Here we are in the first race, the MX-5, an interesting field there, full of what looks like Yaris's and weird Daihatsu's. I'm not really quite sure what they are, but look how sexy the MX-5 looks. Let's see what sort of legs we've got at the start, shall we? Oh, the speed. Absolutely no match for the rest of the field. Past the Yaris we go, so we've got the obvious speed advantage here. Now, how are we in the corners? That is the question. Um, I'll be trying to, for the most part, keep the car sort of balanced with speed. Uh, I don't want to be too fast compared to competitors because that isn't actually that fun. It's more fun to be um, against cars that have a better chance against you. I mean, here, for example, the MX-5 is that little bit faster. Usually, um, I start a car for these... Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Just about got that kept in, uh, kept in check there. Usually my starter car for these sort of races uh, ends up being the uh, Toyota Supra, the old Supra, because you can very easily get 300 horsepower out of that. Oh, and I can hear the Daihatsu's behind me. We aren't going to be gifted this race. Not at all. I can't remember what look back is. There it is. God, they're, they're just all over the place, aren't they? They're rabid. We've got the acceleration, but we haven't got the top speed of the power, that's for sure. Down the third. Get in there, please. Hold the drift. The MX-5 just hasn't quite got that cornering right now. This is going to be a close race. Oh no, I keep putting, I keep putting it in reverse. Okay, you can try to look behind. Not that, it's L1. I've got to remember that. That is going to cost me otherwise. The Aris is past me for now, but we're going to use the superior speed of the MX-5 to get past. Here we begin. Oh, the last corner. Always difficult in a faster car. Not so much in this one. That's one lap down. And our lead is still intact just about. Now I realise there are going to be points in this game where I'm going to need to grind races. I will be doing that off camera uh, for the most part because it's not going to be interesting to watch me just go around the same track over and over again. Uh, but I will try and keep it up to date. Uh, hopefully it will suit you guys and what you guys enjoy viewing. Let me know. Let me know what you do you enjoy viewing this sort of video because obviously me doing... Every race I do for the first time will be on camera. Anything after that, unless it's uh, you know, a special result or something I'll just end up leaving and that little that corner's annoying you want to try and take as much speed through there as possible but you can never quite keep it or oh, first thing I want to do with this car is do some handling upgrades because it handles very strange it's got very rearward um sort of weight distribution it feels like you go from the corner despite having this big front end this sort of everything at the front the rear always wants to just turn around and you go from there. And that's what I remember most about Gran Turismo from my youth, is that massive booklet that came with the game, describing what oversteer was, what understeer was, how the car moved, how weight distribution worked, under throttle under, and under braking. I found that so fascinating as a kid. Um, I'll, I'll have to try and show you the manual at some point, it's so fantastic. But uh, back to the race, I'm getting a little bit squirrely there over the jump. We are still leading, again, hitting reverse by mistake, don't be doing that. So we've got a nice balance of, uh, of power here with the other cars. We are just going to make it into the line, I think, for this Yaris, which does have the legs enough in a straight line, but uh, not quite close enough. Cross the line, 110 mile an hour. And there it is. Our first win. There it is in glorious light sets. We have a Lupo, a Logo, a Wagon, and a... I have even heard of a Super Studio. Ooh, what the hell's that? Winner! There it is. Up in lights. Give us the money. Give us the money. Oh yeah, that's sweet. Up to three grand. All about that money. All right, and so next race at the high speed ring. Um, this will be interesting because I think the MX-5 actually does have a good high, uh, good top speed, but it seems in the last race that we didn't quite have the power of everything else. It's weird to be thinking of the MX-5 with decent top speed, but hey-ho, Gran Turismo, let's do it. High speed ring is one of those classics, isn't it, from Gran Turismo. So uh, it was in the first game. It's been in every game. I, I think it was in Gran Turismo 3. 
definitely in Gran Turismo 4, and it's been in every game since then. Oh, we've got a Beamer to the right of us. That's going to be interesting. He's going to have a bit of power behind him. What's that? That's a Sylvia. So, lots, lots of cars here. A little bit more grunt than us. So this is going to be a very interesting race. You can see the Celica already starting to pull away in front of us. This is going to be a very difficult race indeed, I think. Oh, wow. Now we're, we're getting left behind. Now we're starting to get into the higher, the higher speeds. Power of the MX-5 not quite there, but we do have the cornering. So we're going to try and use that to our uh, advantage. The, the old Gran Turismo pass there. Absolutely famous, that is. The thing is, I won't be able to do that once I'm in the lead. There you go, down the gear. Oh, no, a bit wide there. Trying to use the curb there just to turn the car. And we're in the lead for now. Car's squabbling behind us like an FTO, which has to run. Gran Turismo! Oh, it just barges past us. Pushing it on the grass. Try and slow it down. All's fair and love and Gran Turismo. We need to be at the front of the pack before this last lap. This is where we need to be, and then we need to block like a madman, I think. Look how much faster everything else is on the straight. I'm going to go to the outside, try and get a push from the car. Behind. Felica and a 200SX go through on the inside. Everything's just driving past me now. Come on, at MX-5. Don't let these guys build you. Oh, funky through there. First to sixth in one corner, but now we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to go flying up the inside here. We'll try to anyway. Gran Trismo overtake. Yes, yes. Never yeah, I've got that cornering ability down. Not quite as fast as other cars on a straight line, but about keeping it. Oh, off track. Not what we want to be doing. Trying to keep the line tight. This one can get past. A nice and wide on the exit, and we're going to have a proper run now down to the start finish line. I'm scared, ladies and gentlemen. No! Sylvia through on the outside. It's not over till it's over. Now it's over! Arrgh! Come on! Push him out of the way! <laughs> Come on! Second place! No! Third place! No! <laughs> Come on, come on, come on! <laughs> First place. Oh dear. Not quite the result we wanted there, but um, it will do for now. I think we can win this race, so I'm going to give that another go and uh, come back to you guys on the uh, on the last lap. You know what? Actually, I lied. We're going to go to Mazda, and we're going to do a bit of tuning. We have we don't have that much money. I think a turbo, the first turbo stage is like 5,000 from memory. He says 4,000. Right. We're winning this race, boys. When in doubt, turbocharge. That is literally the um, the Gran Turismo motto. Just put turbo in it, put NOS in it in the later games. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter what happens, just do it. So now we have um, about, oh, how much more horsepower? About 40% 40, 40 more horsepower than we had before, 45%. So yeah, I'm pretty confident now that we're gonna win this. Let's have it, lads. There we are, turbocharge, guys. I'll give you a little, uh, that's the acceleration, then we'll cut to the end of the race. Oh, the wheel spin. It's too much. And look at that. Look at the speed. Leaving these cars for dead. Salika. We were behind him at the start last time. We're now just burning past him on that boost. Come on, boost. Come on, boost. Oh, man. I've got this one, guys. I've got this one. But here we are then. Last part of that. We're just leading from, I think that's the Salika behind us. It hasn't been as easy as I thought it would be. Our car is definitely faster. Oh, we messed up the last corner. Come on. Get back on. Get back on. Use the turbo. Use the turbo. Use the turbo. Use the turbo. Come on. Use the acceleration. No, 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 no. Come on. God damn it. God, God damn it. Ass, ass, ass. And we come, what, fourth? No. Oh, let's do it again. Okay, surely this time. Last lap. Come on. What about the exit? Coming to fourth. I'm just going to just block the shit out of the people behind us. No, you don't. MX-5 for the win. Fiat coming strong. Ugh, there you go. Got it in the end. First time, boys. Absolute first time. That was difficult. The MX-5 is not a high-speed machine. 
at the last event of the Sunday Cup, Red Rock Rally. Red Rock, Red Rock, Red Rock, Red Rock Valley. That's really hard to say. Try saying that five times quickly. Uh, this is the last event in the uh, Sunday Cup. Five grand is the prize. It's mine. It's for the MX5. Still trying to decide what I'm going to spend this five grand on, actually. We'll have a look at the upgrade menu after this, and then we'll probably end off this video for this time and move on to the uh, the license for the next video. But here we are, a car, uh, a sea of red cars, an Audi there in front of us, some sort of Alfa Romeo to the right, a very ugly Alfa, sorry, John Bacho. And away we go! Oh, the turbo of the MX-5 is just too strong. We'll spin all the way up. A barge away through. Look at the acceleration we have here over the other cars. Now, hopefully this will be a bit of a better track for us, because this car's a little bit better in the corners than it is uh, in a straight line, but we'll see. The first corner, everyone going very high. We'll see if we can come down low. Sea of red. I don't remember how this track goes. Pretty sure it's a left next. Oh, yeah, there's a map there I can look at. Oh, that's very difficult to look at. The Audi just having a little bit of a shake. Break very late. Stick it in there. That is the racing line through there, for real. This car seems to work best sideways at the moment. It will be a bit better once we have nice tyres on it, for sure. But at the moment, it's all about getting the car sideways for the turning. Yeah, I can hear him coming up the inside. Look how much more speed they have in a straight line than me. Look at this. Just hanging on around the outside there, the MX-5, light and nimble. Next corner is a right-hander, but after that is a left. I'm not going to be close enough to do anything there. The Sylvia just getting past me. There you go, that is a nice robust overtake there. Doesn't matter though, because we're going to end up getting absolutely mobbed on the straight, I think. Trying to get the best acceleration possible at the last corner, it's running up very high. How bad it is, okay, so this is a good practice for the last lap. How much faster, faster, how much faster are the cars behind? So yeah. If we have a gap like that, they just won't reach us to the start finish line. I was going to go down the inside there, try and go as fast as possible. T1. Getting a little bit of a helping hand from the car behind, up to nearly 130 mile an hour, throwing it in! Not gonna stick, it's not gonna stick. I'm gonna go down the fourth gear. Oh, slide there at the last moment, that was a bit scary. Come out on the lead though. Into the kerb. Oh, oh dear, that's bad, that's bad. Wide, 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 wide. Oh, just keeping it in front for now. Come on. Oh, the car wants to be forever sideways. Will we go down low here? Make the fast cars go a long way around. Let's keep it nice and low there. The car, it's, it's, it's pretty decent at high speed corners. Is it does sort of hold on. Now I've got to keep an eye behind me. Again, that sea of road is actually quite intimidating. Throw it to the inside. Hopefully the cars can come up there. Oh, that was lucky. That slowed me down a lot. This is going to be difficult now. Last corner. Full throttle. I think we have the space. I think we have the space to win this. It's a drag race to the line. Is MX-5 going to make it? The cars are coming strong. Look at that speed difference. Come on, little girl. Come on. Come on. Run. Run. Run away. There you go. Yeah. That actually was the first time as well. So improving. Proving steadily, but look what we're up against there. Free lead to Alfa Romeo. Absolutely no chance in that in a straight line, apparently. Unless you've got a Turbo MX5, in which case you are the Don. You are the boss. There are, look. 10 grand, baby. Let's go see what we can buy of 10 grand. I know I probably wouldn't keep spending my money on um, on upgrades, maybe save for a better car, but this is part of the fun of Grand Turismo, just modifying the shit out of your car, basically. Anyway, the tuning. Let's see what we've got here. So usually I tend to go with uh, turbo first because that's how we're going to do. But I'm going to try something different. I'm going to go with some tyres. Um, I'm going to go for sports tyres. And that's five grand. It's a lot of our money. But it's going to help us stay on the road uh, you know, a little bit more grip. So we now we have sports tyres equipped, which is, makes our, our car our track day weapon. And the next thing we're going to do is, because we are a boy racer, we've got to put a big old muffler on it. Look at that 15 horsepower increase. Nice new exhaust system on there and uh, and air cleaner. So we've pretty much spent all our money now. 
and what I'm going to do uh, off off camera for the first uh, next episode is do another speed test and another uh, zero to four hundred. See the difference we've got there. But guys, that was our first episode of Gran Turismo Two. Hope you enjoyed watching. Um, it was fun to do. It's fun coming back to this game and sort of getting back into the mechanics and driving style. Um, as I said earlier on, you won't actually see this video unless I've already got five parts ready. So if you are seeing this video, don't worry. There are more parts to come. If not, then well, what I'm saying is pointless. But thank you for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe to be notified of more videos, and I'll catch you next time for part two. Take care.